We are looking at NOP series trochoid pumps. These come in uh, many different sizes uh, and part numbers and that number can be found right here on the end of the pump. These are commonly used in the machine tool industry for transferring oil or coolant or using for flood uh, type oil or coolant. There are a few uh, common things that go wrong with these models and we're going to break one of these down and I'll show you a, a couple things to look for. First off you can get these anywhere from just the basic pump to models with several accessories and this has got a relief valve and a filter assembly um, on the pump. So the basis of the pump is the same and if you add a relief valve it just takes the place of this cap. If you have a filter assembly this is ordered this way so it's not something you can add on to this pump. Um, so you have a basic model and then a few accessories. So if you're purchasing just the relief valve as an accessory this is what you would get right here. It takes the place of this cap it can go on any of these pumps. And if you're just looking to increase your pressure and you have a relief valve, this spring is what you need to address. The filter assembly is right here. Um, I believe it comes standard with anywhere from a 200 down to 60 uh, mesh. Uh, the filter's not in here. I've already removed it, but that's pretty simple to change or to clean. All right, there are a couple uh, common failures that we see with these types of pumps. One is an external leak, and the other one is just a pressure loss or loss of flow compared to what you once had. Uh, we'll start by taking this apart, and I'll break down a few of the components. So there's two bolts here in the back that just come out, these two bolts, okay? Then this end cap will come off, or in this case, the whole filter assembly will come off. And you'll see that here. The body or this middle section of the pump comes apart. In this manner. So, what we have here, we have an O-ring on the back face. And there's also the same o-ring on the front face. So check those if you have an external leak in this area here. Another common place for an external leak is the front shaft seal between the pump and motor. This seal is held in with a snap ring I've already removed. And this seal will come out what a lot of people don't know though is behind the front seal there's a little plate there's an additional seal right here so if you're replacing one I suggest replacing both so we've got our o-rings and our two shaft seals up front for external leaks that's really about it if we have a pressure loss or the pump has just stopped turning, there's a couple things that can happen. One, after you pulled out your shaft, you can see on this particular model, we have a lot of scoring in the bushing areas and here. That's an indication this has been run dry for an extended period of time. Will lead to pump seizure uh, eventually. Doesn't look like this one had, but had quite a bit of wear uh, in the bushing area. Another possibility, um, if the pump is spinning or the shaft is spinning, but you're not generating any pressure, you want to check this key that drives the rotor. If this key is broken or sheared, obviously the shaft will just spin. It won't generate any pressure.
as far as this is where where we tip, where this pump generates, and if these over time, this gap as this rotates in here can wear, and you will have a pressure loss. Um, what if you've reached that point? Probably just best to replace the pump. And then lastly, if the motor is spinning, but the pump is not turning, this is keyed as well going into uh, the motor. If this key is sheared, obviously you may have a problem.